Tiny Totos Kenya is a registered social enterprise that works in, well, Kenya. At the moment, we are only working in Nairobi County, but hopefully we should be able to scale across Nairobi to other regions and hopefully across the world. So uh, what we do as an organization or as Tiny Totos is that uh, we work with women who run daycare centers in informal settlements. And in Nairobi, we are basically uh, working within Eastlands, that is the slums in Korokocho, Madare, Huruma, Pipeline. And uh, what we do is we have this model where we get to train, first of all, before uh, we identify these particular daycares, we have a team of community members called community health volunteers who go out into the informal settlements to try and find out where these daycares are. And if they meet certain standards, it's a, a structured process. So once they do go out, they uh, locate these daycares. We go, we go through a due diligence process to just ensure that one, the number of children who are in these daycares is uh, a particular minimum. Uh, we have a minimum set number and uh, to find out whether the manager or the, day, the the woman running the daycare has got someone assisting or not, whether it's in a school or the location and certain things. And if at all it's being run from their own homes, then if they're willing to grow and uh, probably rent out another space, that will be business to separate business from home. So uh, once this process is done, we usually call all these daycare managers for a five-day intensive training where we show them our areas of focus, which is nutrition, early childhood development, business management, record keeping, and they really get to understand who we are as tiny totals. And after the five days, then they make the decision whether they want to be a part of our partnership or if they do not want to be. And uh, none, I'm, I'm yet to see any that have not wanted to join us because of the kind of work we do. And uh, after that, for the first three months, they go through a probation process where uh, we get to mentor them after the trainings on how to keep their books of account, how to track the expenses. Uh, for those that never used to prepare nutritious meals, uh, I also get to sit down with them and really explain the principles of nutrition so that they get to understand. And once they do, they actually start preparing meals to ensure that all the kids eat a balanced diet. And you see the challenge of informal settlements or any other children is that if they're eating different foods, one might want food that the other one is taking, which might probably be better, or it might just be different or something they don't get every day. But when these kids eat from one particular source, which is the daycare, then all of them eat the same thing. So they, they are all enthusiastic about their food. So uh, once uh, these daycares receive that kind of mentorship, they set up kitchens, nutrition kitchens, and they're able to prepare meals. So uh, Tiny Totos also does coaching for business where we teach them how to keep their books of accounts, how to even pri We don't really tell them how to price their business, but they're able to improve their services. So most of the time, the st once the standards are improved, then the price will also change because the parent is also now willing to pay uh, because they can see that their child is in a safe space and the quality of service is good and they have peace of mind even as they go to work. So, yeah, that is what we do as Tiny Totos. And aside from that, uh, giving these mothers an opportunity to go back to work is a big thing because many are times that a mother gets a child and cannot go to work or have peace of mind. So, yeah, Tiny Totos works to ensure, one, the daycare managers earn a living, two, the children are safe and healthy and strong and happy, and they get to play, and three, that the mothers get to earn a living so that they can pay for childcare.